Music 20 Meter Band, Hotel Bravo 9, Echo Panko Hotel Mobile. CQ, CQ, CQ 20 Meter, Hotel Bravo 9, Echo Panko Hotel Mobile. CQ, CQ, CQ 20 Meter Band, Hotel Bravo 9, Echo Tango Hotel Mobile. Echo Alpha 8, Fragezeichen äh, nochmals bitte. Echo Alpha 8, Bravo Alpha Uniform. Echo Alpha 8, Bravo Alpha Uniform, QSL. Ja, Rode, Rode, Rode. Rapport der 5 Osten, 5 Osten. Auf Krankenhörer, ich fliehe in Englisch, ich fliehe in Englisch, QSL. Ja, QSL, QSL. Playa del Ingels, äh, Gran Canaria, das kenne ich, dort war ich auch schon in den Ferien. Kenne ich gut. Äh, dein Rapport hier, 5 und 5, ein bisschen QS Baltimore. Der Name ist Markus, Mike Alpha Radio Kilo Uniform Sierra QSL. Okay, okay, Marco, okay, Marco. Ja, korrekt, korrekt. Das ist richtig so. Äh, ich befinde mich so 30 von der Stadt Luzern. Wir haben Schwefling und noch der Wimper kann die Kroos. Fica contigo e faz girar. França 1, Victor Kilo, roda CT1, é com a Tailândia. This is an ICOM HF transceiver. ICM802. This is at the moment is receiving 20 meters on 14175 and is fully operational 1.5 to 30 meg HF 150 watt transceiver. It has many useful functions. I'm very very impressed with the audio. I'm just switching through the channel select switch there. 160 selectable channels. This is set up to an AT140 ATU, ICOM AT140 ATU, which by pressing the tune button here automatically updates per channel and has a 45 log memory of frequencies and can be switched for through mode like that or tune mode and that's now retuned on 14325 this is the control box or the marine head for the transceiver the cable there that's going off around the back of the chair goes upstairs to the transceiver base unit and ATU. This is the standard SP24 speaker made by ICOM which um, is a two and a half watt uh, capable speaker, very very light indeed as is the control box, very very light indeed. And now we have moved upstairs to view the ICOM transceiver remote in itself. There is the cable going off to the control box and there is the speaker cable going off to the speaker, the SP24, as previously shown. If I turn round to the back of the transceiver, not a lot to see two aerial sockets, a DSC aerial socket 
HF antenna, aerial socket, 12 volt power supply, earthing together to that and the ATU. And if we turn round, there is the ATU, the ICOM AT140, standard ATU for this system. There is a view of the cables and everything that connects the transceiver body to the transceiver and then onward to the ATU and the DSC, Digital Selective Calling Marine Aerial. That is then um, connected onto my very pathetic long wire aerial that disappears out of the bedroom uh, side there and that tunes up very very nicely indeed upon the frequencies in question amateur radio frequencies obviously and uh, provides a top class system very very impressed with this transceiver indeed it is a second hand one which I bought just before Christmas December 2012 delivered just before Christ Christmas and I've been uh, exploring its possibilities ever since so we will now return to the transceiver to see a few more of its capabilities. This is G8EPR who is reporting for the Pi and Telecoms uh, Radio Telephone Museum of Great Britain in Worcestershire. And here we are back at the head end, at the front of the boat of the large expensive cruiser that I have here. That's in my front room. You were two Edison EA12s that are undergoing re renovation at this point in time. D Star transceiver, and now back to the ICM802. This is January the 1st, 2013. Now I can switch 160 programmable channels, which I've spread across the HF band. If I come to a frequency I want like that, 14125, I can press the digit that puts the arrow under the naught the 5, the 2, if I go up in 2, 10s, or 1s, or even megs, and then come back down to 10s, and to 1 kcs. Normally I go up and down the band in 1 kcs. If I find a frequency I'm interested in, you can then see if there's anybody on. You can then press uh, the one down to 100 hertz. It's a bit busy on that pile up there on 40 meters. We will leave that. I will now go back to memory mode and I can now switch. If I wish to tune up onto a frequency, there's very low power on the tuning. I press the tune switch. 
and there it is that is now tuned if I wanted to bypass the aerial and go through with note ATU I press function and that and that then goes through to through if I want to go back to tuned that is retuned and put that back into the tuner's memory Zero SBZ, 73 is Ted, bye-bye. Hello. Oh, Hello. 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 CW, a CW filter it can be switched in, USB, AM, receive only on AM, receive only on AM, and back to L USB, uh, LSB. I hope uh, you're okay, and I hope you've had uh, a great Christmas. <laughs> These are the new 5 meg allocated frequencies. Not much on the... Uh, not much on uh, 80 metres at the moment. Frequency 5680, and this is the new AM frequency. Allocated today, January the 1st, 2013. <laughs> New allocations have now been made in the 5 meg uh, band for USB and able to use AM on the wider frequency allocated parts of the band between 5.2 ish and 5.545 ish. Sheena Duncan of the BBC Natural History Unit in association... BBC Droitwich that I can see from the back window of my house at approximately 10 to 15 miles away. UK slash saving species and... Not a lot on 10 metres today. I can tune up there. This is GADPR testing, Golf 8 Echo, Papa Radio, listening 28450 for a call. 
and no reply. Fair bit of interference on the band. Some local computers and solar panel arrays. They're inverters, very dirty. That is RF dirty. Right, we will now explore the marine bands part of the transceiver. We will switch to the digital selective calling scanning, which is a separate receiver that is built in and runs in parallel with the main HF receiver. I now switch through to DSC watch, and that is fast scanning a 2 meg, a 4 meg, a 6 meg, an 8 meg, and a 16 meg frequency, and even a 12 meg frequency as well. Looking for digital selective calls, distress or safety at sea messages that can be received. If something comes through, if something comes through, I can switch to this screen here and select what's been going on. Well, the first day that I switched this set on, a distress signal came through, and that is still in the memory of the set. There is the the boat's MMSI number and the time that it came through, 1704 and then if I press enter again it gives me the boat's location, where it was transmitted from its own GPS 1704, 61 degrees north, 5 degrees east somewhere in the North Sea I have been told and it was a distress, undesignated position so possibly let off, set off in error if I clear that That is the frequency that they were operating on. 6215 is the frequency that the distress signal came through on. I now go back to normal distress scanning. We are now back in DSC watch on a separate HF aerial that's plugged into the second PL259SO239 socket on the main set upstairs. And that's it once again scanning. If I now press that and go to others safety at sea messages that have come through recently and press enter again there is a list all ships all ships a geographic location all ships I can switch down the list like that and uh, choose a position say there all ships enter it and the category of that urgency all ships and the frequency that it was transmit they wish you to transmit on you can go straight to 2081 to listen to the traffic message come back out to DSC watch press enter again and go back into others and enter again and then if we switch this up and down there are two messages there that I haven't looked at they have the stars by them so we'll look at that all ships message that's come through uh, sorry wrong button and that is a safety message safety to all ships transmitted on by this station um, 
024420, which I haven't decoded, but one of the shore stations. If we go to there, we go to the frequency that it was on, 3673, uh, the traffic frequency. And uh, if that was uh, had just happened, you could hear, listen to the message that had uh, been passed on. The DSC scanning uh, receiver is always running in the background. There's no volume uh, there on it. That is fully um, squelched. If I now go back to all ships and all the messages, and then return to the normal band. Um, okay, Daniel. Um... So I'm now going up and down in channels. The microphone, the HM135 microphone, can also go up and down in channels. Or you can go up and down in hundreds of hertz. Good old slow scan TV. And that is a trip round the ICOM ICM802 transceiver, excellent audio, 150 watts PEP, no transmit on AM, receive only on AM unfortunately, beautiful keyboard on the head end to operate, very very nice indeed, very nice speaker quality and I'm very very pleased with this purchase for the G8EPR Pi and Radio Telephone Museum of Great Mitten. This is G8EPR reporting.